when does God get the glory? When is God honored? When is God praised? When is God respected? When is she praiseworthy in the at least for his goodness and for who he is. He's our creator. He has given us life. He has given us promises of hope of the hereafter. And he's given us some things to do here while we're on this planet. So much. So, I should be thankful, I should be uh, thankful, I should be full of goodness and righteousness, I should be uh, leading a good example, I should be doing good deeds that reflect my beliefs. And I should do it in such a way where it's uh, perhaps uh, genuine and authentic and out of love, not out of uh, compulsion or animosity or out of stubbornness or out of begrudging, but I should do it from a willing heart, from because I'm thankful and I'm happy and I'm, I have the peace of God in my, in my heart, in my mind, in my soul. God is, God is powerful. God is wonderful. God is love. God is love, the Bible says. God is, God is love. And, uh, so, I should have that love, too. Shouldn't I have that love? If God is love, shouldn't I be, shouldn't I be loving and compassionate and merciful? Because those are God's attributes. Those are his characteristics. So, uh, I wonder why uh, some people don't behave that way. Some people are angry, full of anger and bitterness and, and hatred. And uh, they're not uh, exhibiting those, those, those characteristics. Um, I wonder why. Uh, they talk about there being a devil that has something to do with it. An adversary of God and an adversary of God's creation, and it's all based and premised on pride, not humility, and I guess that's where it starts, is to walk humbly with God, in humility, and uh, because when we're humble, it's uh, an act of reverence towards our master, towards our creator. Um, and it's not, you know, it's not the kind that you see in historically when people worship false gods. Uh, that was kind of a brutal and harsh and uh, people were compelled to bring homage to to pay homage to God. People were compelled to bring their sacrifices. And they did it, a lot of people on this sure, they did it under a heavy burden, under a heavy load. So it, was, it wasn't pleasurable. It wasn't something that was, it was something they had to do. It was not something that they wanted to do. And I believe the true God, the creator, wants us to have a desire to do it. A desire that out of love, that's prompted by love, that springs from love. Uh, that should be our motivation for doing it. Uh, 
because that's what true love, that's what love is. Love is I don't have to do it. I get to do it. So when I, there's a big difference between getting to do it because it's a, it's a privilege. When you say, it, when you say it, you get to do it, it's a privilege. When you say you have to do it, it's grudgingly, grudgingly, it's, um, it's, it sounds loathsome and burdensome and oh no bummer. But when you say I get to do it, it's like, oh boy, oh yeah, 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 right on. I get to do it. I get, it's like going to like the fair or, or, or to Disneyland or something. You know, you get a, you get some excitement out of it. And some joy and some, and it's a wonderful experience. But on the other side of the coin, people of, of pagan religions, I'm assuming a lot of them did it because that was, they had to do it. They were slaves. They had a yoke wrapped around their neck and, and the chains hooked up to them and they had to bring their gifts to God under the, uh, whoever the emperor was. So that's not worship. That's not true worship. That's false worship. 